Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I am Aaron Lewis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. And with me today is John McTavish from the Pistani Studio. How are you doing, John? Good, man. It's a rare twofer. You know, every 20, 30 reviews, we do a twofer. It's been, a, right. it's been a hot minute. That's right. Uh, so today we are talking about the Jazz Some Crawl Munchies Banana Fossiter. Uh, Cigars Robusto 5x50 uh, comes out of the Tabacalera Aragon factory in Nicaragua. Rapper is a Habano and Binder and Fiddler are both uh, undisclosed. Uh, blended by Riste Ristevsky. Price point is $10 and cigars released in August of 2022. So with all that out of the way, John, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? So uh, it started out interesting. I got a lot of the sort of what you would classify banana fosters flavor in the first third. So sweet creaminess, vanilla, um, then uh, tobacco and wood, which to my knowledge is not banana foster, uh, fruit sweetness. Um, and I didn't really get the banana until about kind of the halfway point of the first third. And I think I was expecting it to be a little more punchy. Uh, but I, I enjoyed the first third. And then the second third was kind of a more traditional flavor profile of baking spices, vanilla, cream, tobacco, wood. Uh, and then as it progressed, the spices kind of faded and be became supplanted by the, the sort of mostly wood and hay uh, with occasional vanilla sweetness. And then the last third for me was, um, you know, largely wood and vanilla. Uh, there was uh, occasional faint banana, but kind of not enough to really drive the profile um, now I smoked two cigars, uh, for review cause I had a bit of an issue with the first one, which these things happen, um, had a, had a extremely tight draw. So I was like, well, I got to smoke another one then and just see how it, uh, stands up. And the second one actually had a pretty resistant draw too, but not remotely the same way. Um, both cigars had a bit of an uneven burn, uh, had to do a relight on the first cigar, which I think is probably draw related. And I had to do a touch up on the second one. Uh, so overall I'd say, uh, came with, is it, Pretty pretty average, maybe slightly above average for the football. How about you? Yeah, for me, this cigar uh, start with a slightly stale cedar and a raw black pepper, and then on random draws, there were hints of the banana. Um, I got a powdered banana pudding and dusty earth that kind of joined in a bit later. And then the second third saw all the banana components kind of depart, and the bitterness gained a char note. Uh, final third saw the bitterness lose the char note, uh, and kind of some mustiness joined in as well. Um, for this, for me, the cigar didn't really convey the, the banana profile past the first third. And kind of when it was present, it was like, felt like it was an afterthought. It wasn't up in the forefront or anything like that. So, um, you know, the middle third wasn't that pleasant, um, but it did come back to average in the final third. So for me, this version of the of the Munchies is definitely not as good as the, the Rocky Road. It's just, it, it didn't kind of play on that same level. So um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't come back to this. I mean, I love the smell of it pre-light and all that stuff that you normally get about infused or flavored cigars. Like it, that's the best part of it. Like when you actually smoke it, it's not going to be like that. Um, but um, the Rocky road was definitely more in line with that, with that, with the chocolate and creaminess and ice cream notes. And I didn't get, a, you know, other than that, kind of the, that banana pudding powdery mixed, I, I didn't get much of it. So it is not as good execution. I think on this one. All right, let's get into the scores. Start at the top with John at 5.55. I gave it a 5.3. So how'd that 5.55 match up for you? Hey, it matches up well. Um, you know, it was a slightly above average flavor profile with, uh, you know, minor construction issues kind of held it back. Uh, completely echo your comments on the Rocky Road. Um, you know, I think I went into this expecting more of a punchy banana uh, flavor and, and sort of that bread that you're talking about. Um, and while it was present in the first third, Certainly not enough. Uh, I wanted, you know, I wanted to take it to 11 or at least nine and yeah. I'd say it's around four. So yeah, give me more, give me more. What about yeah. you? My 5.3 matches up well. I mean, the flavor profile was below average overall. Um, I had, I had good construction though. So kind of, the, I ke kept me close to you. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, yeah, this, this just didn't do it. I mean, um, I, I was, I was expecting the kind of the, the fullness of flavors that that we got from the Rocky Road version that just wasn't here at the band, and maybe it's maybe there's just some flavors that that just can't happen with, or yeah. you know, it's an experiment of trying to figure out where the right balance is before you go overboard. But I'd always, I think, I'd rather err on the side of too much of the flavor oh, that yeah. you're trying to convey than not enough. So that's kind of where I'd be. So, um, yeah. oh. any go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Final thoughts. Yep. Uh, I kind of jumped ahead. Um, right. I, I think what I like about it is that. You know, I think there's a tendency with infusion or, or oak aging or barrel aging, anything like that, 
Uh, sometimes it can be an artificial flavor component to that. And, and I will say the one thing I, I really enjoy both in the munchies and this is that, and especially with banana, cause banana, um, I'm actually, so I'm, I'm particular to the, uh, artificial flavoring. So like, uh, saccharin and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm especially palate aware of fake banana and man, fake banana is just not good. And I think what he's done really well here is that, you know, both with the Rocky Road and the Bananas Foster, there isn't that sort of chemically artificial, you know, kind of icky flavor that you sometimes get with some foods and certainly yeah. some flavored cigars. And I don't get that at all. And I appreciate that. Yeah, um, I, I'm up for trying these out. I mean, yeah. I think it's fun to to see it, um, you know, the, uh, the Rocky Road was uh, you know, kind of a good experience. The banana sauce are not so much, but I'm open to whatever flavors, other flavors he's going to try out and stuff like that. And coffee so I'm pudding, always, man, do some coffee pudding. I want yeah, like a like caramel that. punch. There you go. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I mean, I think these are fun. Um, packaging would be what you want. And now, you know, people have their own opinions on that, but um, we're just smoking the cigars. So seeing what they're like. So I'm just here for the free samples, man. That's right. Uh, all right, so wherever you're catching this video, be sure to like and subscribe, but check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. You can follow us on all the social media channels and catch all of our recaps on i on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. This shit is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S.